you've been you've been doing YouTube for a long time. So you understand like when you click on something and it's like shit. Yeah. <laughs> lack, lack of a better word, shit. Um <laughs> You, you just click off of it because it's shit. Yeah. Mr. Sam Lloyd, Fat TV. It's been a fairly long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Thank you for coming. When Thank I coming, when I first thought about doing this pod and play podcast and play idea you were one of four people that i was like i've got to get them on nice i've got to get i've got to get them on and four's a solid number yeah and then after that i don't really know anyone else <laughs> but, but I, like it's it's one of them things isn't it like you get friends and stuff and they're like yeah i'll come on do it and you know when you're like oh we ain't gonna have anything to talk about like it's it's gonna be difficult like what, what, what would you do oh, I, I, I go to work and then i come home and push my kids about it's like, cool, cool, <laughs> cheers man yeah man like, that's one thing as well like we have got a lot to talk about which i don't think many people will ever really realize but um i'm sure we can explain it as best as best we can runs deep yeah it runs deep i mean we we start with we start now with that like right so do you lead it or do we just i will lead i will lead and then we'll get into this in just a little bit because they can they can listen to the wonderful you can hear that can't you (laughs) it sounds good I can hear everything. Wonderful, brilliant. So yeah, me and Sam first met in, I believe it was year eight. Yeah, definitely uh, early years of secondary school. So in England, uh, for people that are watching this across the seas, we have, you know, like the Harry Potter sort of, <laughs> Harry Potter, of, like <laughs> Hufflepuff and everything like We have that, we have form groups. And we were in, if I remember this, because my mind has been obliterated over the years, I think it was 7H, a maybe what are those what seven because they spelled out howard didn't they oh mate your memory is oh. so much better than mine oh. i mean it's not competent like my memory is terrible oh, you're, you're gonna be telling me a lot of stuff you. but but yeah I no, I and know. i was and i remember this day because i remember it because you got moved if i remember rightly because you and your cousin were fucking around well let's rephrase that my cousin being dick well, no, my cousin used to just bully me. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Like, Dan Mason, who's appeared in a few videos, he's my cousin, and he's always been that one year older, and <laughs> that guy that everyone knows for, I guess, well, it depends how you look at it. Some people would say not the best reasons, but other people would say, like, hilarious reasons. He's quite funny. Yeah, he's, he's uh, well, I wouldn't say, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say he's a bully, but he was just a, a loud... He's a teenager. Of, yeah, he used to... Fight a lot and just be loud and uh, you know, class clown sort of, th- sort of thing. And then now he's like banned from nearly every pub around. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So I remember you, I was Mason. I was sitting in the back of the room where I used to sit. Um, just scared of everyone in school. And then I remember looking at a textbook and then it was either Mr. J Cotton or Mr. P Cotton it was like, everyone. I was like, oh fuck. Like what's 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 going on here? He's like, everyone. But you've got someone new to your form. And this is Samuel Lloyd. And you know, like in, in romantic films where like it like zooms up and like you hear like Dream Weaver. It was kind of like that moment. And <laughs> I was like, oh, look at him. Had a strong chin, short hair. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then you came in and you was like, there's Chee Nim. Oh, mate, Chee Nim. Yeah, he's, Chee Nim is probably my, Chee Nim and Gillian Davis is, is my, old, my oldest friends from primary school. Don't. No one's going to know who they are, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but just a quick, friend. just a quick sidebar. What the fuck has Julian been eating? Oh, he's turned he's into a tank, isn't he? Big, yeah, man. Big boy. Oh, well, I've not spoke to him for a little while, um, but uh, he was into the last time I saw him. Actually, I went to the gym with him, and he was he was into just those, lifting up the gym. He was into those heavy weights. Yeah. When I go to the gym, I'm too scared to go in the free weight section. Really? I'm a machine lad. I will go there. I'll do like 25 minutes, half hour of cardio. And I'll just pot around on the machines. I'll look over and I'm like, oh, I'll go over there, but everyone's just a fucking mountain. <laughs> no, don't let it intimidate you, man. And if you do too many machines, I feel like you're you're not going to have uh, as good of a balance. So you you could build yourself up to be like quite an impressive physique, but you'll just get pushed over by the slightest bit of wind or something. No. Yeah. No, I, I do yeah. fighting. So. Oh, you do? Yeah. Tell me about the fighting. Um, well, it's it's one of them things of being like being like a. Being a white belt in jiu-jitsu, like 
four strike white belt everyone don't don't fuck with me I, i'm adequate and average but it's like when you talk about fighting and it's you're not black belt or you know you've got gold medals and shit it's it just sounds very posery in my opinion but um yeah with the fighting i, I do jiu-jitsu and do boxing had one boxing match one which i didn't enjoy what you've only had one i've only had one fight oh, okay. i only had one fight and i broke the geezer's eye socket <laughs> yeah yeah and, and when you say something like that yeah, look right we it was after it was after a bad time i wanted to let out something uh like some aggression went to my boxing class because i was doing that as well as jujitsu and i was like yeah okay that's this is fine this is absolutely fine and golden and then um mick my trainer was like got a show coming up and i was like yeah all right that's fine and then it was all well and good all the training i absolutely loved it did a camp got down there as much as i can as much as i could because i was working nights at the time so like when i could get down there i was down there for hours and it got to the day and i just woke up and i was like well i might not win but i ain't gonna fucking lose like that sort of mentality like, i'm not getting knocked out and then like the day goes in and then uh yeah it was great fun but it was first round he fucked me up yeah like ah oh, he was he was a little bit taller than me and he like he was just i just remember looking across from like the ring from him and was like oh he's a big fuck like this ain't gonna be good and then like just dancing around the ring just head hunting weren't even a boxing match it was a fight you know it was it right, was just okay. so unskilled <laughs> and so I'm, uh, I'll put like I'll put like the image there, like fuck it, I'll put it behind us where it is now, and so you can see me getting uh, a little bit beaten up in the first round, and like he hit me right towards the end and snapped my head back, and I remember just seeing a few little colours, and I was like, oh shit, like, thinking another punch is gonna come. Yeah, quick yeah, or and then yeah. the bell went, and then I went oh, back no. to my corner, and then uh, Mick was like, well that's his hardest punch. He's like, he put everything into that. How do you feel? And I was like, at the moment, all right. And then it just went on from there, and uh, duffed him. So you won. I won. Yeah. Okay. Course. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, but it was it, there was one pivotal moment in that fight where in the second round I wobbled him, and I remember hitting him like drawing back my hand to do another one, and his like eyes went a bit, you know, they were kind of trying to look too hard yeah. to the ceiling, and I just let him recover. I just stopped, and it was at that point there I was like, this punching people ain't for me. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Like, and then you know you do jujitsu as well, and you strangle people, which is fun. Jujitsu is that the one where you literally kind of like wrestle someone to the ground and, and wrap yourself around yeah 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 you know yeah. like in uh, mma like Bella, yeah, yeah yeah it's it's, the, it's all the bits on the ground but i love it because you kind of dictate your own level of pain yeah um whether it's like you get caught in an arm bar if you think you can get out of it you'll get a little hyper extend it and stuff like that to, to a point where you just tap and apart from getting hit in the head by a few elbows and knees and maybe getting like slammed on there which is very rare you dictate how much level of pain you want yeah whether you can't control how someone wants to fucking take your head off. If you know, yeah, you know it's, yeah. So it, it's one of them. But then always being addicted to getting a little bit of pain <laughs> goes full circle back around the fat TV. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I can't do that sort of stuff. Though. Like, I, I tried jujitsu. Um, my dad lives in Malaga, and right by there is a place called Mike's Gym, and it's awesome. It's like. I think it was in Men's Health once for being like the number one CrossFit gym in the world. It's just, it's built in like this big Spanish quarry and it's all made out of stone and wood and rope and it's just these big obstacle courses. It's, it's mad. But they do these different sort of classes in their mat rooms. And I tried jiu-jitsu um, and me and this guy had to do it that I knew, but it was like both our first time and we just could not stop laughing. And I know that's the wrong mentality, but it's oh. just me personally in it. I couldn't pin him down when I was thinking, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just pinning this down. I'm, just, I'm randomly all of a sudden on this bloke, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't yeah, stop it's, giggling. It, it's it's the first thing of, um, <laughs> in the Simpsons, Artie Ziff, like when Homer and him meet up in later life, he's like, I have mastered the art of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Mount me if you dare. <laughs> and it is very much like that because it's so up close and personal. But it's 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 definitely yeah. the uh, thing of. If you get if you're doing that all the time, then you've got no real fear of physical confrontation. Yeah. yeah. Like it, and it, it does turn you into a bit of like you walk into a room and you're like, <laughs> you I love going to work and just like looking around like, oh, fuck all of you up. <laughs> Maybe not apart from you because you're massive, but yeah, it's good. But yeah, being um being involved in a little bit of pain as as I say, it's always been interesting me like skating and that, but yeah, it, it, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> terrible. I remember there was um. So, for people that don't know, I've, I've, I've done this thing You might called... have to move that a little bit closer to your mouth. Oh, really? Okay. You, you all... Oh, you hello. Hello. Yeah, for people that don't know, I've, um, I guess, first kind of 
come onto the internet with something called Fat TV, which was originally like me, you, Julian Davis, Jules, um, and just random people I hung out with that I, d I don't really hang out with anymore. But the, the group kind of evolved into the proper kind of cast, which was like Jamie, Bake, um, Webb. Lloyd, Wade, Webb, Paz. Um, Paz. And yeah, we we were the first two, though. And you you were almost like a bit of a inspiration for me because you went hard. <laughs> uh, no, you did though, because I mean, uh, it was it was before like I mean, I wasn't much of a daredevil. I just wanted to kind of make funny videos and that. And you were like front flipping into bushes, wearing a homemade straight jacket and that. And like, <laughs> do you remember that? You cut your head. You ran. It was in Rainham. You ran and jumped on a trolley that was on its side. You used it as a bit of a trampoline and done this front flip. But you, we wrapped your arms up in a backwards jacket. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, mate. I have got so many clips Fuck. to show you. Yeah, and like you used to get in the trolleys and like, I mean, proper like copying jackass at the time because well, we, we were what, like. Do you remember what we originally called it? Yeah, yeah, of course. We started off with it called Dumb Dumbass. Which, well, uh, Dumbass, Dumbass. But dumbass. I later found out that so many people did that. Like, <laughs> when you're young and you watch these things on TV and it's all new and it's before the internet, you're like, oh, I'll grab a camera. You, you haven't got, well, I guess some people do, but we didn't have much creativity in us to think of a new name straight away. We just thought Dumbass was quite smart and witty, but. I wonder Everyone probably had that name. Um, I wonder how many dumbass stuff there would have been. But I, it would have been that thing, wouldn't it? If YouTube was around at that sort of point, it would have been straight on there. It would have been yeah, straight on that's there. that's the thing, yeah. And then, I mean, what year are we talking? Like, 02, 03 or something? Oh, I wouldn't. I think um, it's around then, going by... Yeah, we went We went to... Sec oh, we started secondary school in two, 2001. Must have been New Millennium and stuff. Because I remember being out in New Zealand um, when the Millennium hit. Yeah, and, and that was just yeah, that was yeah about year eight, yeah, two thousand one. Fuck. Yeah, man, and we used to come here. We used to film in this room. Like yeah, I used to stay around yours, like after school. This room used to be filled with just like basement stuff, and we'd make a, a ramp. We made a, a skateboard ramp out of like a big long poster or something like a cardboard it was a, poster. It was a felt poster that I don't know if they'll get them across the seas or anything, but they sell them in like home bargains and shit. What it is is they give you the worst pens ever, and it um. It's like raised felt, and then you're just colouring that way. Yeah, I remember doing that. Yeah. Straight into a box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> skateboarding down this like the, the ramp was about two foot. We had nothing to land on apart from this box. It was just those pointless little clips. Amazing. Yeah, they are. They are great. It was just you just film anything, anything funny, stupid. We just film it, get it on film. I was, just, I was just I just went off into a whole world of nostalgia there. I was just looking at that box, thinking about stuff. I just like bite my tongue like. Fuck. Yeah, I man. remember doing all this. Right, so we'll get into this because they've had enough of the menu. So it's quite it's quite simple. I'll give you the first go. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's, yeah, it's just like pass worms. the pad. Just pass the pad. Do you oh, like worms? We could play worms. Oh, that, was, that wasn't a suggestion. I'm just saying it's like like yeah, it yeah. made me think of it. It's one, yeah. I mean, it's, well, we it's we could have done shit. I didn't even think of that. But um, going back there. So how did um, getting all interviewee with your questions? Try and think of us. That's but how did how did it evolved though. What Fat TV? Yeah, like where the name? Because you've changed the name from Fat TV to Fat Sam now, isn't it? Yeah. So that I mean, that's something else that I want to talk to you about. Because to be honest, in a way, you you had a very vital part in, in that happening. Because if you remember, we made a YouTube channel called Fat TV, yes. and it had, I think I think it still got bully skit on it. <laughs> Um, oh god and you I think this is how it happened my memory's terrible but I, I think that we couldn't remember the password and so me and you fell out over uh, other things yeah. and then I just couldn't get that access to that account anymore so then I had to make a second account which I mean this was back in like 06 as well or somewhere around that sort of time and I made Fat Sam because I was like well I still want it to be Fat TV, yeah. so the word Fat had to be there, but Fat TV is taken, so I'll just stick Sam there. So I made the YouTube, um, I made the YouTube channel Fat Sam, and then as the years went on, it was years as well. Went out to casino rooms one night, local nightclub, um, and some guy just went to me like, "Oh, you're Fat Sam," and I was, I, that was the first time I ever heard it. Yeah, it was always just a username. 
And so someone went, you're Fat Sam. And then it started happening more. Someone called Lloyd Fat Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. And then I just thought, like, because at times were going on, things, things were... Um, you know the years were going on and people were getting other priorities and I moved to London Lloyd moved to Australia people were getting more serious jobs wives kids and stuff just naturally kind of like you start hanging out less so I wanted to carry on doing videos and I took on that name Fat Sam because it just seemed to be I don't know, it just seemed to make sense to me really I will say this you got me. I'm. 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 Go, I'm going to drop her in it. We don't speak anymore. But you got me my first ever fan. What do you mean? Well, well, well. This is many, 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 many years ago now. So it was. I remember. I can't remember how she contacted me, but she was from America. America is where she was from, and her name was America. Amber. And she got hold of me, and she was like, "Are you Reese Spice from Fat TV?" And I was like. What, what are you talking about? I was like, that's that's decades old. <laughs> and she was like, and you you're got, in America. She got, she was like, you got played on a. Um, she was like, you got played on American TV, like, and it was a clip, and it was um, the thing that fucked me up a hell of a lot. I think I know what you're on about. Which was me getting spanked by that guitar. Yep. All right, I'll show you this now because it's still there. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> that lead that that also leads up into another thing, doesn't it? Of um, how that happened, because yeah. you told me Lloyd wasn't allowed to get um, another head injury, and I was that's yes, right. And we said no. So with that, we're going we're going to jump back and forward. So there's going to be a lot of timelines being path crossed and stuff, in there. So it's all going to yeah, be yeah. all right. But um, so how did that happen? Because you had a party, didn't you? But it was many. It was. Yeah. What, years before that? A year before that, maybe? Oh, going back, I, I just started working at casino rooms. Uh, I was probably about 19, 20. And um, uh, our friend Lloyd, Austin, had a very serious <laughs> hit up the head uh, a few years before. before and, and the doctor told him, you, you don't get head I mean, it's a stupid thing to say. Do not get head injuries. Surely that should Surely no one should get head injuries. But the, well, Lloyd especially shouldn't get any more. Well, the stunting question has recently, because this is what made me think of the whole thing. The stunting question has recently been put up because you did a thing with Lloyd, didn't you? Like looking oh, you over put worms on? Yeah, I put worms oh, on. Oh, shit. Yeah, d Dead Cells being an arse, so I just thought I'd chuck worms on. Yeah, the Dead buttons arse. are a little bit... So we'll just jump around like... Oh, I'm, I'm in control, so I'll waste my go. All right, so here it is. Back and forth with that. Yeah, or yeah. you can use D-pad. I can't remember the... B gets up the um, weapons menu. Yep. A selects, and I think X fires. Yeah. There we go. Okay. You will get the buttons messed up. You will jump off edges and everything. Yeah. Will get. So. <laughs> but yeah. So the stunning question um, was, who rode the bike? Was you riding the bike? So no, I was filming. You was filming. One day we were just all hanging out as you know teenagers do. Uh, is, am I boggy? You're boggy. You're, you're team Press blue. Press Y? Um, no, that, that'll get you into the thing. It's I just. I want to get into the thing. You want to get into the thing? Oh, it's not working. Uh, that one to move. Not working. No. Oh, do we. Oh, you both have to use this one. Oh, what a piece of shit. Fuck you. Yeah, you, you, this is your remote, yeah? Oh, they're both mine. Oh. They're both mine. <laughs> they're both mine. <laughs> yeah, can't know they're yours. They're both mine. Okay, you're using this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah worm, worms has always been like that. Oh, is it? How'd what pass button? How'd you jump? Um, A, I think. Uh, Double A to do a backflip and oh, this guy's fucking bad. <laughs> Yay! Okay, oh they were my oh you put teams together. Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, um they they just randomly placed, but yeah. The battery thing fell off. Yeah, it will do that. It'll do that. Don't worry about that. Uh yeah, so who was riding the bike because it's how we got the head injury, which is what the fuck? Uh X to use your thing. X. But, oh yeah, X. yeah, eight. I'm wasting my go. That's alright, no. Go on the parachute. No, don't, don't want that. Can't use a parachute on flat ground. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh he's well heavy. Uh, thick. Worm's thick. Yeah, get me in this fucking thing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. How do I fucking? Uh, it might be X. Fuck so, you. So it might be. Come on then. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh, what? You nothing, fool. First blood. 
Oh, was that my go over? I think so, yeah. Oh, oh, mate. Right. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm proud. Like, well, you did. You, you did better than me. So, yeah, we're filming the skip of riding the bike. Sorry, yeah. So, we went out one day with a bike and a little ramp and just wanted to film just stupid clips of people riding into trees. That was it. literally it. Just having a laugh doing that. And um, we had Webb and Bake on a bike come down a, a little tiny hill. And then the idea was Lloyd was just going to run and jump into him and we'll film a crash. But I guess Lloyd is, uh, we learned that day that he's really uncoordinated. Um, and he just hit them in a way which rotated his body so quick that he couldn't put his hands in front of his face. And he just spanks his face on the ground. You can find it on YouTube. It's called like, I don't know, type in Lloyd KO bike crash or something like that. It should come up. Or just head to Fat TV. Fat Sam. Is it Fat underscore Sam? Um, no, no, just just Fat Sam on YouTube. Uh, but that that is a Fat TV clip, yeah. And yeah, he um, we we didn't that we didn't think it was that bad because he lifted his head up, didn't he? Yeah, that's the thing. He lifts his head up and then he puts his head down like that, and then. So there's a little thought of, oh, that was weird. Is he faking? And um, we later found out that he wasn't. Lloyd's not a very good actor. And uh, he just had some sort of delayed reaction. And then the whole, like, day afterwards, we just constantly asking questions. The same thing, just like, why am I here? Why is my bike here? Did, did my girlfriend ring me? And <laughs> it was, it was, it was... Uh, and we were just like, fuck off, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it was... You're annoying us. It, it's like that video that you've just done with Fat Sam, like... Um, reconciliating that of what happened or oh, showing him the show yeah, yeah and like yeah, yeah. It's, it's what you say it's like how uncaring are you because you're just like, like even bake i think he says i'll oh, shut up lloyd or something like that because yeah. you just want to ride bikes and he just has no clue what's going on bless him but so yeah going going with that short guy i think <laughs> <laughs> no. he's off Fuck! That's all right, it don't matter. Mate, oh shit, I can't multitask. Nah, it's cool, it's there you cool. Go. But yeah, so, <laughs> going full circle around, the uh, doctor was like, yeah, probably probably best not to get head injuries anymore. Yeah, he. we later found out, after telling him to shut up and fuck off and that, um, we, we, because we didn't I I experience anyone getting proper hurt like that, and, or, or anyone knocking themselves out. So we just thought like, oh, he's just like, you know, he's bit being a fanny, he's not, he's not. He just so over exaggerated. I don't know what we were thinking. We just wanted the to kids. Crack, crack on. Oh, the kids, you don't know yeah, about yeah. head injuries and stuff. And then we later on found out that his mum picked him up. His mum thought he was acting weird. She took him to the hospital. He spent the night in hospital. He he eventually forgot where he was and then ran out of the hospital in his, like, you know, like... What? His, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know any of that. No, nah, so he didn't really explain it in the video. But, uh, yeah, this is, you know... And then ever since then, his mum just thought that he was always on drugs. <laughs> She, every time he come out, she'd get so, like, paranoid, I think, that that, she, that he was just taking drugs and that. And, oh, man, I'm so shit at this. Hey, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I say, it's, this is just hey, here. Cheers. It's just saying, Lou, while we have a chat, it's, it's, it's just good. Stick. I did not know any of that. Yeah, so that, that was um, that was quite bad, to be honest. Uh, but we kind of just laughed it off. And he laughs it off now. Watch it. But, um, yeah, at the time, we were being real inconsiderate dicks ah. but it made a funny video so. it did make a funny <laughs> video so after this you you was having a house party at yours weren't you oh but yeah that's why we started yeah because <laughs> oh, oh don't worry um people who watch my streams and everything like that know that there's that i've got no real i don't know if it is from like head injuries or, or drinking when i was younger but i've got no real access to memories i have to go through other ones to get to get to normal ones it's really strange so um yeah so at this party I thought it'd be funny to try and crack Lloyd Brown the head. You did, yeah. With, with a guitar. Was it with a guitar? It was with a guitar. So I thought it'd be funny to go do that, you know, ha ha, make a funny video. Uh, that one's not unlocked yet. The one next to it is a bunker bomb and you can, like, carpet bomb some people if you select. Is it like a diagonal? No, no it's like you'll select a place on the map and it will just, like, drop, like, three or four. But does it come from an angle? It, I don't know. Will that be in the way? Yeah, that would definitely be in the way. Oh, but yeah, okay. Um... So yeah, I thought it'd be I thought it'd be a great funny ha ha of trying to give him another head injury, and then yeah, uh, we, it just backfired. Didn't it? Oh, that's just a mining tool. Yeah, I, I didn't know what else. I put myself in a shit situation. <laughs> Honestly, my brain. I can't think of what I'm gonna do. Um, I, this this story, uh, we decided to 
smash it. Well, we found a 2 by 4 or well, a big bit of wood. And we thought it'd be funny if um, he's like standing there playing a the guitar, singing a song. You just come out of the other room and bash him over the head with two by four. But then he hit, it uh, ended badly for you because he turned around and smacked you with his guitar, instantly cutting your head open. Ah, oh, do you? I remember this. Getting blood all over the car. I remember this for the first day. You weren't even remotely worried about what the fuck had just happened to me. You was like, get outside in the garden. Don't spill blood on the carpet. And I'm there like. What? I was worried. <laughs> I was, but, but it was. I had to. I had to do both. I was like, "Oh fuck, you're right. Get outside. You're right. Just get outside." Not the carpet. The carpet. Yeah, yeah. And then I had to tell my mum I had a nosebleed. But that is quite convenient because you used to have them quite a bit, didn't you? Yeah, I got nosebleeds quite bad. I, I always had a weak uh, nasal passage. But yeah, and then Lloyd felt really bad. And then, and then was it before or after that you stuck a giant screw now through oh, your was, hand? That was that was definitely before. No, that was <laughs> no, that might have even been afterwards because if I remember, soon afterwards we did that. Your your party kind of cleared out a little bit because I was like, oh nice, extra explode it I think. Nice. Um, but yeah, so going back again to how this we got onto this. So this uh, girl called Amber got hold of me and was like, you're, you're that guy who got played on t American TV. And I was like, okay, cool, like that. She was like, do you still have the shirt? I was like, no, that was filmed like eight, nine years ago. Like well, the blood covered shirt? Like she wanted my blood covered shirt, Sam, which I thought was a bit strange, really. <laughs> so we spoke for a little while and then it kind of just was, you know, just like, no, this is a bit odd, but like, yeah, come out to Virginia and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, cool, fine. I mean, that's pretty oh, cool. That. I know, but it, yeah, it's perfect. Ah, oh, textbook, absolute textbook, that's textbook awesome. wormage. You'll but regret that's that. not the first time that you've been on American TV, is it, my man? No, some clips of, of well, there's definitely one clip that stands out that's been circulated uh, around the TV. Um, and that'll be me breaking my back. Was I'm, it? I'm very curious to know what show, Let's if you go. remember, that, that clip was on uh, that you said because I've they, never seen that on TV. They, they, owe, us, they owe us money. <laughs> <laughs> nah. No. <laughs> I, I, I sold a bunch of clips to um, to some sort of agency. So, oh, did you? So they, uh, they kind of dish them out here and there. Yeah, and they give me a percentage. Do okay. something. Yeah. I, I had no idea how any of that worked. But no, um, I, remember, I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that clip for the first time of you. Because ex explain to people that might not have seen it. Oh, fucking buttons! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh. Uh, explain to people what would you like me to explain? Um, how? What? What sort? Because I imagine that was the clip that kind of blew up for you. Oh, the back break. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, your gun lasts oh. way longer than my gun. I must have turned it off. Oh, oh, just parking his head. Yeah, the uh, back brake. Because was it your full back, or what did you actually break? Um, no, so yeah, in 2012, we are having a really good year filming some fat TV stuff, um, and I'd never really gotten hurt properly. To, <laughs> you know, just everybody so, else. Yeah, yeah, no, well, yeah, I, there was little <laughs> things that happened, but... Um, but, uh, sorry, mate, I literally cannot. No, that's cool, think that's and, cool, and that's cool. I'll, 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 I'll remind you. Oh, really. no, I'm gonna fuck you up. Um, yeah, And you, yeah, I see it, yeah, sweet. Have some of that. Have some, have some of that. Um, yeah, so we're having a good year of filming. I've never really gotten hurt, and I decided to, in I think it was October 2012, Felix Bumgardner. The Red Bull astronaut, he jumped from the edge of space, uh, the stratosphere, and done the, uh, broke the world record for um, quite a few things, but like the, the world's on the skydive, free, free fall as well, I think. Um, and I thought, this is hot news, this is quite good to do like, like a parody of. Um, so if I made a video that was like my own budget version of the space jump, unlucky. Yeah, if I made my own budget version, like it could do quite well. And so I thought of a, an idea to put this giant inflatable ball to represent the Earth underneath um, uh, a roof 
and basically fall off it and land. I wanted to do it exactly like he did, just front paw and belly flop this ball. Originally, I pitched it to Lloyd, um, and he was busy or couldn't do it or didn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'd say I was fucking busy at all. <laughs> it just wasn't going through my head as something that could go that wrong, really. Um, and yeah, he basically said no, and so I thought, alright, well, this video has to exist. So I will step up, <laughs> which I should do anyway because it's my stupid idea. Hang on, two seconds. Oh! What happened there? Swung it so hard you hit yourself. Oh, but well. now that. Oh, sweet. He's in, he's in an life. absolute pit. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I get up on this roof on the Sunday of this of the week after Felix did his jump, and I'm thinking, I've got work on Monday, I'm working for another five days straight, it has to be done today. It was such a rush job. It was windy outside, it was raining outside. We got to the location. There was a concrete gap from the ball to the roof, and so I had to jump out. I never thought about doing that. And I had there my girlfriend at the time, uh, Bake, and then his uh, girlfriend, now wife. Uh, so, so she was holding the ball because we had nothing to hold the ball into place, and it was it was windy and that. And I get up onto this roof, and then someone says to me, "How are you going to jump?" And I said, oh, "I'm just going to fall forward." Is it my girl? Oh, no, I, I was just listening. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm just going to fall forward like he does. And then they just went to me. Oh, no, don't do that. And I, and I was up on this roof, ready to jump. And I'm just like, what do you mean, don't do that? And they're like, you, you're going to really hurt yourself if you jump like that. <laughs> and I'm thinking, because I, I went up there with a the mentality. I was like, I was so into the, the videos at the time and putting putting yourself forward for this content that I just thought, I'm, I'm happy to break. Like, if I broke an arm or something, Hi, that that's okay. Like, I was I was willing to accept that never thought about breaking my spine and i decided last minute to jump ass first took my little run up just, just jumped first time and the wind oh nice nice the wind blew up my <laughs> material made helmet which covered my eyes so i jumped off the roof blind stuck my legs out with such confidence and obviously, if you've seen the video, skimmed the ball, pretty much missed it, and landed arse first from about 12 foot. So hard that my head, I almost head butted my own dick. Well, like, I, like, I went, bro, I just like compressed, fractured myself. And yeah, two vertebrae completely crushed and fractured, um, and just had to lay there and eventually. I thought that was jump. <laughs> ah! Um, yeah, and then I, I couldn't get up, couldn't walk anywhere, laid there for a bit and uh, eventually said call an ambulance, which I really don't like doing because I, I just feel like, you know, it's, it can be a big waste of time for, for some people. But they, they were awesome and um, they, they got me to hospital and I was in hospital for six days, laying on my back flat, waiting for my operation. You got an operation? Yeah, I've got I've got loads of metal in my spine now, like scaffolding. I've got two rods and then six long screws going through three vertebrae on my lower back. What the fuck? So I can't do a roly poly as good as I used to. And just, just hey, I play it all the time. It's yeah, yeah. It's fine. But I didn't know that. I didn't know you had to have surgery. I knew you was laid up for a little while. Yeah, I was basically in the hospital waiting waiting for the the operation. And that was the worst part as well because I um, was laying down for six days and couldn't shit. So I was, I was, and I was bored. So I was just like laying there eating loads and I was eating more than normal. That's, oh, that's mine anyway. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Um, there's nothing down there. A few over there. Okay. I was, I was actually in a good place. I should have stayed there. I know, I forgot I even dug that hole. <laughs> I, I'll never forget when I first saw that shoot it up, if I were you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but I, but <coughs> I press A on that or? Uh, X. X on yeah. that. And then, yeah, cool. Sweet. If that was anyone else, I would have been like, nah, yeah, just press whatever. Hey! That'd do. Nice. Leave me alone, um, what were we saying? Uh, you're about laying up in hospital, can shit. 
that's it, yeah. So I, I'm, my gut was getting so solid and they gave me suppositories, I had enemas, yes. I was drinking laxatives and nothing could make me poo. And my stomach hurt more than my back lay in the hospital. So as soon as I got my back fixed, they were like, you can stay here another day if you want. And I was like, nah, fuck that, I need to shit. So I, I walked out um, and then got picked up and had to like, you know, sit in the car seat all like angled like that. And, go home and I just drank so much coffee and so much hot lemon water which worked a treat and um, yeah done a big cow pat of a shit above water level I'll never forget that I remember the first time I ever saw that clip and I was looking at it going it's going to be fine it's going to be fine he's going to hit that he's going to bounce or he's going <laughs> to he's going to hit that and it's going to burst Quite and or, you know and it would just like I, I imagine like you know when you see people roll on them balls and they do like a backflip have you ever seen people do that yeah yeah that's yeah. the shit it looks really fun yeah, I've never gonna, I'm never going to be able to do that no, it's but really I thought hard. that's what's going to happen but soon as like there's a point in the video where like I think you could pause it and go like this is the point where he fucked up because you can see that you overshot it even at that like even in one frame and I remember you hitting the floor and the scream it's yeah, the scream it's... that uh, I don't know. You could watch, you could watch a snuff movie and not hear anything like that. It was absolutely yeah, fucked up, and I was like, oh dear. I, um, I I thought that was gonna, I thought that was gonna be you like yeah, dumb, like in a wheelchair. Them. No, no, not like no, not in a wheelchair. No, I I thought that was gonna be you like I'm I'm done with. All oh this now. right, I'm yeah. gonna back out the stunts and that. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, maybe some people that well, I was Do filming something. with. All right. Um, maybe they thought that, 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 you know, it was getting a bit silly. Um, oh, sorry, this makes this interesting. Oh, I'm down there. Quickly. Three, two, one. Bang, bang. Sick. Whoa, shit, whoa. Well, wow. some of that. I have some of that indeed. Um... Yeah, I mean, when I was in hospital, the, all I could, I didn't have a laptop at the time, so all I was thinking about really was when can I get out of here and edit the video and upload it? Um, and then after that, it was just recovery and how quickly can I get better so I can carry on doing stuff that I love to do. It, I, it never really crossed my mind to stop. It just, it, it got in my head that I needed to think about things a lot more. Um, which was always quite hard because the, sh the the stupidity that comes with the videos can end in good content and it's hard to sometimes try and find the balance of being smart but letting your sort of brain shut off and be stupid yeah so I had to like you know maybe I still haven't mastered that properly but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm working on that and yeah basically being wiser older thinking about things more but still wanting to make funny stupid content it's just it's just what i love to do so i just don't want to stop because you're with the um now i i'm gonna get this confused because the lo low card roulette is is the sort of right low card roulette is the skit sort of thing isn't it and it's the lazy generation am i correct yeah man yeah so lazy low card is what we play and then the lazy generation is the crew um awesome bunch of guys i um met them probably about three nearly four years ago now um through youtube i saw some of their videos reached out they saw some of my videos and replied and met up for a drink eventually met up to collab and then eventually after that they accepted me in as, as one of their own so i'm, I'm a member of the lay generation now it's, and it's like we all kind of come together and made this content which i mean i love it it's it's great man right What's the format of low card? I take it you deck of cards, lowest card has to do something. But you all, whoa, 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 <laughs> I keep on thinking X's jump. Yeah, no, it does that. PlayStation, it, right? It, it, yeah, X is yeah on the PlayStation. It's yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, so what do you do? You plan it out? Do you have like draw from a hat or um, what for lazy low card? Yeah. Oh, lazy low card simply is we think of a forfeit that you're not going to want to do but you're going to want to see your mate do it and then we all just take that gamble put ourselves in the game put out a card each and um turn it over and the lowest card has to do that agreed forfeit so when i first played it with them 
um, the, on the, the first round was to get your eyebrows waxed off by tying them to the back of a car and having the car drive down the street. I've, I've, I've seen that. What an introduction. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it kind of works in my favour, I guess, for me losing because that was, uh, I think, like the second thing I'd done with um, the late generation. So the normal kind of fans wouldn't know who I am. And they were saying it's like a great way to introduce me for me to lose the first round and, and have something done so as, as visible as getting your eyebrows waxed off because... Do you reckon they rigged it? Yeah, you know, I did it first. <laughs> I did it first because I, 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 it was, it was new to me as well, to meet a group of guys that were all so willing to do that horrible forfeit. Do something. Because with previously with Fat TV, um, it one, was a one, lot of convincing, wasn't it? Even when we were younger. Well, it's like, just everyone was different. You, you had like you know Jamie loves making music, being stupid, making skits and that, and like, uh, and doing gross shit. A bake loves uh, doing skits and being weird, but like if I was to say to Bake, do you want to do this like stunt? It's not really, his, you know, he, he can see the funny side in it, but it's not really it, his cup of tea to do. It's a hard sell, isn't it? Would you potentially fuck yourself up a little bit for 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 me? <laughs> and, and, and it was like, and what are you gonna do? He's like, I'm gonna hold the camera, son. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, back in the day, I mean, alcohol helped. Alcohol does, al alcohol did help, yeah. And that's, that's, um, that's what I see you guys do, it's like, just going through Instagram stories, I'm like, they're playing beer pong games, like, but anytime I see that, I'm like, that's a goddamn business meeting. That's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're, Pretty much. Yeah, like, it's, Pretty much. it's like me, uh, me and Danny, when we're playing the week, uh, playing the week for Memory Card 4, we'll, um, we'll jump on Sea of Thieves, because it's just a game where you go around, sail a boat, and just like, it's not, heavy action or anything like that and we just plan our week of what we're going to do it's fucking great so every time i see you play beer pong i'm like uh oh, they're planning shit What's yeah good? it is uh when we meet up like because it's it, it's hard for us all to meet up because i live in kent they live in london which isn't far but then you've got people's different work schedules and things so it is quite and a kills in uh pakistan so he's like a lost cause at the moment but yeah getting everyone together can be challenging but when we do it normally is right Let's kind of hang out, put our heads together, play some beer pong, and then if you get pissed and then you want to film something silly, that's got sort of a bonus in that. Ah, oh, fuck, I did it again! But yeah, I, didn't. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh. Yeah, I do. What the shit? Yeah. See? It was all black. Oh. Oh, wait, I'm... So I'm your, you, your, I'm your face. I'm your face. I'm, your face is on my team, right? I'm blue. You're blue, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I've got your face. Oh, that, oh that's just my uh, game. I was wondering what you were talking about. And I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, I thought you were like, you've got, got my face. Like do you remember, right, when we used to play Xbox Live and we used to play maybe like Halo or COD <laughs> and we found it so funny to pretend we didn't know each other and attack each other on the live stream to make other people laugh. I get it in a, it was kind of a form of trolling before trolling was around, but I remember this one thing very clearly and it was like I pretended to be an artist that made pictures of feet and you just were bad mouthing my feet pictures like like constantly to the <laughs> point to the point it made me cry. It, and I cried on this live stream, oh, shit, and, you, and you're all. like going, I don't know what you were saying, but you were just saying like your feet pictures of shit, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, just being oh. funny. And I was yeah doing this fake cry, and everyone in the the group was just like, pissing themselves, but we never told anyone it was a joke. <laughs> it was a proper like Andy Kaufman sort of thing. Oh god, just, like, I watched that. I watched that fucking Jim Carrey documentary. I on fucking love that. Oh, do you know what? It made me, it really made me dislike Jim Carrey because I know really I'm from the from that's probably one of the first things you ever told me about yourself is like you just love Jim Carrey for his comedy and stuff like that. Yeah, he's a big influence. Yeah, and um, I I watched that because oh, I'm a Jim Carrey fan. He's got a bit um, he's got I'd say he's gone Hollywood strange in his later life. Like he's or you can see it for what it really is, but um. Yeah, I, I watched that and I was like, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I watched that and I was <sighs> like, Jesus Christ. I was like, how? But the thing is, though, it's the immediate switch of he got into it really slowly and kept that character. But as soon as that film was over, he was out of it. Yeah, and I was like, who he was what again. the fuck? That's I, I really like 
that sort of... Uh, uh, right, so I remember when Man on the Moon first came out, and I didn't know who Annie Coppin was. And I was in Blockbuster, um, and I was staying at my grand's, and my grand and granddad's for the night, and um, I was looking for a film to put on. They were like, you can rent it something, and then, you know, we'll get you a film, and, and uh, we can watch it around ours for the night, so you're not bored. And I found this Jim Carrey film. I was a big fan of Jim Carrey. The internet weren't out. Well, maybe it was, but I didn't know how to use it or something. But it basically was this Jim Carrey film that I'd never seen. I thought, oh, I'd try that. And even though it was really, I didn't expect, it wasn't like a proper comedy of what Jim Carrey would uh, normally make. And but I just found it really interesting. I found out that the guy that it was about was this real guy. So when Jim and Andy come out, I, I loved it because it just explained more. I, I loved or I love Andy Kaufman's humour, the, uh, the way he just sort of pranked the public and never kind of told you it was a joke and, and just went home and, you know, kept that to himself. I just love that, man. It's like, it's just such a different way to be. He was way ahead of his time. And fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, no, it was it was it was the immediate change in Jim Carrey, which which I, I never I never you never saw that side of him before. But it was there was well, a when few he went all spiritual and woke and stuff. And oh, I don't mind. In interviews. Oh, I don't mind him being spiritual and woke and like you know talking about like depression stuff. I think it's one of them things. But in that Jim and Andy thing, I I was so shocked how like I suppose it's like never meet your heroes. But he wasn't being him in that. He embodied Andy Kaufman so much yeah. that I was like, I've never, I, I could never have guessed someone could just flip the script like that. And then it wasn't so much of like going through it because I understand that's method acting. You really get into the character. But when as soon as, as soon as filming have done, it it just flip the script and then like completely forgot that you you know we forgot who he was like as a Jim, as Jim Carrey in a way. He said. And that's what I found interesting because because he, he turned it into a positive. He was saying, "What do you do when you kind of don't know who you are and you know don't know who to be?" And, it, and he just said, "You could be whoever you want to be." Yeah. Which I think is a very good way to kind of look at that situation. But I'm sure it will baffle quite a lot of people. I mean, it baffles me and, and obviously only a method actor maybe under no uh, understand to the true detail. But it just fascinated me, man. It fascinated me. And it's Jim Carrey. I remember um, a video of you when you had your first camera. Um, there's another thing I've got to talk to you about when we were younger, because I don't know if you remember, but I hope you do, because it's one of the coolest things, and I still do it to this day. Um, I don't think I'd grow out of it. But I remember there was a video clip of you, and it may have been one of your first videos that you ever done, Excellent. and you were trying to be Jim Carrey being Andy Kaufman. Oh, my God, have you seen that? I, you showed that to me. Yeah. Fucking, what am I doing Hello. showing that to people? My name is Andy. Yes. I remember that so well. I was like, that was when I, I was short and fat. You've never been fat. Oh yeah, you, and was. you've never been short, not compared to me, mate. When I was younger, like before I met you, I was short, chubby, and blonde. You're blonde. I was a naturally blonde kid. I'm trying to remember, go trying away. to go in the annals of my mind and, and trying to find a picture of it. No, I don't. Uh, well, I've got one. You had like a mushroom hair. Oh, I had a bowl cut. Yeah, yeah I, I do remember. I, Shit. I had a wonky one because Dan Mason <laughs> cut a bit of it with safety scissors, so the hairdresser has to try and sort it out. Lad. Uh, still. Double A. That's it. Yeah. There yeah, we go. You, you might be able to get through there. You might not. Yeah, I, I remember that very well. And um, another thing. Because I was when when I because I like to get a little bit prepared. There's a few things I want to ask, and then you know you kind of let the yeah yeah thing. But do you remember the comic book that you made? Oh mate, yeah, I've still oh, got them. Oh, still got what? Yeah, they're they're in like a memory box somewhere in my garage. Because Sam and Reese show. The Sham and Reese show, and I remember being so impatient because never under uh, like I, I've said this on stream, and I've said this going through my life, and. I tell you what, this is just tradition for me because I never win at Worms ever. I, I get battered by absolutely everyone. I did fight. you win? No, you won. Did, was it over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you killed all my worms. Yeah, oh, did I? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smash me. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, we'll have another game and put that, put that back on if you want. Yeah, it's up to you. I don't mind shaking it up. I mean, how long we got? Oh, how many games are you playing? Just many, many until we call it a day. So, um, mate, got loads of you stuff. won't get rid of me. <laughs> but um, so I never understood. And I say this, and I don't know if it's just me uh, being foggy in my mind or anything like that. I'm not getting worms. Um, but I always thought I was a little bit 
little bits behind uh, at school, like a little bit slower than the rest. I never really understood what was going. Like I, I try and look back to it, and it's just like there's a cloud over most of the things I was thinking of. So I never really understood what what time it took to do stuff. I remember coming in every day and going, "Have you done? Have you done? Have you done some more drawing? Have you done some more drawing?" So I didn't understand how fucking long that must have taken you to draw each thing. And powerful Nicky Gardner just kept getting hurt in every episode. <laughs> oh yeah. I've got to dig them out now. Um, oh, please do. Yeah, no, scan I've got, them in. I've got do people still have scanners? Yeah, yeah, I'll try and scan some in. Uh, well, your phone's pretty much a scanner now. I need to take a picture of it. We should crop it and that. But um, I remember I was just one of those kids that loved being inside. Uh, it's weird because I'm... I'm different now because I love so much more outdoorsy stuff, but obviously, no, like, I edit. We've changed, man. I love being indoors. It's great. Lockdown, yeah. didn't, lockdown didn't change for me at all. Oh, well, okay, cool. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I just stuck to my laptop, and um, I work for my laptop, and I, I edit for my laptop, so it was quite good for me. But back then, uh, maybe because I lived a bit out of town as well, up on that Marshall Road, but I um, I just used to draw. I used to love drawing. And my, my things to watch were South Park... Um, I, I watched a lot of South Park. I listened to a lot of Eminem. I love True Crappy TV. Obviously, Jackass. Um, you know, like Family Guy when that eventually came out. So I had so much. Oh, Bo Selector. I used to draw a lot of Bo <laughs> Selector masks. I used to basically like character character draw. Is that you say caricature people and, and stuff like that from like you know my, my life and trace things from the TV. Yeah, loved it, man. Always been a big drawer. My only GCSEs were in art and drama. I don't know, I don't, I, mine, mine were in. Um, you did drama. Of course, I did drama. I never knew you did drama. Really? I, yeah. I mean, speaking of art and everything, but yeah, you know how you used to draw them characters. Like, yeah. yeah that's the only way I can draw characters. Like from just watching you, how to draw, how you drew them. I, it's the only way I draw faces. Like a bit Family Guy. Like, like a little bit Family Guy. Yeah, yeah. But, but mine are absolutely dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the oh, only way like if I draw anything because because at work we get a lot of paper and stuff and if like we've got on a long job or a breakdown I'll just start like penning shit down um, I've turned to one of them people now and I think it's something everybody should do I carry around a notebook at all fucking time nice. but I don't draw in it because, oh. but, like because I'm working like right. I print books for a living I um I would get a lot of paper and if I am ever to draw something I'll always draw a face like that and it's something like will always stay with me it's the only way I can do it and I just remember looking at your um, you used to bring them in and you used to have like you used to keep them so sacred and then ah oh, it was it was fucking awesome you have to dig them out and like PDF them to me or something like yeah, that yeah I definitely will man I definitely will uh, yeah just I think I was drawing every day when I was a kid and then when I discovered the video camera um, and got my own computer and stuff like that. Yeah, just sort of that just goes away. That the, the video uh, creating has taken all my spare time in the last. Oh, mate, how old am I? About like 22 years, probably, or something like that. Like easy, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a lot of time. It's just been my main thing, which I've always found annoying because there's so many other things I want to learn. Like I still have not learned Photoshop, and. I just I go on it. I get so confused. And I just start editing video. Oh, uh, Photoshop! Photoshop scares me. Um, when when we all got put in the dreaded lockdown, um, I was like, this is gonna be a perfect time. So I got my furlough from work. I was like, this is gonna be a perfect time for me to try and do something. And I, I had it in my head that I was gonna. Um, oh shit! I had it in my head that I was like, hey, X. I imagine it's X. Nice. Oh, wow. Yo, that's that, that good. That's good. Um, yeah, I think that might be. Fair enough. Um, I was like, I'm, I'm going to learn how to do a new skill and everything like that. So I was like, I'm going to do an animation course. Because nice. I, I wanted to make um, sort of layouts and everything for people for Twitch and YouTube. And, like, you know, try and do that. Fuck me. After Effects is well hard to use, mate. I yeah. don't like anyone that can do that shit. You're an absolute wizard. I just don't, I don't get it. No, for sure. It's like another... Just another world, especially when you use the one piece of software. Um, so, what do you use to like ramp it into like techie and whatnot? What do you use to edit? Oh, shit, my I've got. I've got Final Cut Pro X. Yeah. Which a lot of people slate, but I think it's because when you first look at it, it looks a bit like Windows, not Windows Movie Maker, like I, iMovie, that sort of thing. Um, but it's. It's getting better uh, with all the kind of updates and plugins and that you can really make professional stuff on there so i really like it and it's really easy to use 
I just need a new laptop because I'm starting to do 4K stuff now and it's just too slow. No, I saw your photos of your camera in like a pram and stuff like that. Your 4K I'm baby. New, I'm a new baby. Your new baby. Yeah, that was a lot of effort for a post. <laughs> 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 and then like, oh, that there's nothing. There's nothing more upsetting, is there, when you put yes, something sir. effort into something and people. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Well, yeah, I mean, I wasn't really thinking of it like that, but I was um, just thinking, like, I had a funny idea, and I really want to start just acting on funny ideas I have rather than just put them on a list and never do them, you yeah. know? And I just thought, right, let's actually put the effort in and do this because it made me laugh, and I'm happy I did it. I'm, you know, just, I think it shows up. I put effort in. I had great help from uh, my mates, Kurt, <laughs> Silent, Jamie, and Bake all helped me out making those. Thanks, boys. <laughs> it was very pointless, but <laughs> it got some got some laughs. It made me laugh. Um, yeah, right. No, no, you kind of unlock them. What we'll do is after this, we'll do a scheme called full wormage. And Grenade. I'm going to say a sentence which <laughs> sounds very bizarre, but no Armageddon and no concrete donkey. Oh, man, Armageddon. That's... That's the big meteor one, right? Yeah, that fucks, oh, fucks that. everything up. We'll yeah. do. We'll, we'll just say that to the end. Is there a worms w that you can play which is nothing but Armageddon? Just, just Armageddon. You can unlock it. You can find it in. in yeah. Yeah. Can you make your own games? Oh yeah, you can. You can like do custom games and stuff like that. We'll have a little go on that. What's your, what's what's a question that that people would want to know about you? What's your favourite game? My favourite game, uh, Dark Souls. One, I think it's fucking hard. It's, but I'm, I'm, I'm just a. For what, for what I am, it, what representation people get me, I, I absolutely adore like high fantasy and stuff like that. Sword, shields, magic, anything, anything like that. Like Ace Odyssey. Oh mate, that's banging as well. They're doing a new one. I never got it. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're doing another one, reviving the old things. But yeah, like anything to do with like magic, sword, shield, wearing armor, and any, I, I love difficult things like there's, a, there's my very first let's play on the channel uh, was a game called Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and it's like it it's hard it got it's so hard that I used to worry about doing the let's play like I used to lock myself because like, I used to have a different setup you shut myself in my room three four hours get absolutely like 15 minutes of useful things to just get getting fucked up it's like having nightmares about it Sam that I was like, like, just generally going through the same thing over and over what, and over. Nightmares again. about the game. Nightmares about the game. Nightmares about recording. It used wow. to fuck me up. Yeah, like it's not scary or anything, but where it's so like intrinsically hard, I was like, I ain't gonna be able to do it. And I'm, all right, and I'm. I don't mean it's any disrespectful way, but where I think, as I say, I think my minds can sometimes be a bit, you know, special and everything like that, and learn difficulties and stuff. I hate being out of schedule. I, I fucking love a good schedule. If I know what I'm doing. Then it's that. So when it used to trigger that, of like, I ain't gonna be able to do this. My right, YouTube channel's okay, gonna yeah. fail. And I used to go down these long, like, pits yeah. of self-destruction of like, everything's gonna go to shit. I hate it. I hate oh, it. No, I'm sure everyone thinks that. Like, everyone's got a bit of a special mind. So I think everyone thinks like that. Especially, it's especially these worry. days, everyone everyone assumes and thinks the worst. Like, I, I, yeah. I, I have to, I have to prepare myself for stuff like that. Like. I used to get caught, like my brother, my mum, everyone used to be like, you're so doom and gloom. And I've, but it's, I don't mean to be. It's nice. It's where I prepare for the worst. I, I always hope for the best situation. Always hope for the best situation, no matter what I do. But I'm always like, I always bring up the shit scenario first. Like, I've got to go up north, I've got to get a train. The train probably crash. And go through like these. Oh, really? Oh, like that? Oh, some, sometimes so. It's so. Oh man. I yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's it's such like I live in such like I, I, I don't like bringing it up because it make it sounds like you know you just like want a pity party and everything. But I live in such like a sort of anxious world sometimes where I think of the most outlandish scenario like oh what if I walk by that golf course could get fucking golf ball up the head or some sh <laughs> yeah like but then like you got to, you try and talk yourself round of going you're being ridiculous now pal like yeah what a I, waste. No. <laughs> I get what you mean in, in like, I, I think of some stuff like that sometimes. Um, uh, riding a bike is, is a big one because I, I ride, I go and try and go on a lot of bike rides nowadays just to get a bit of exercise, but I don't wear a helmet. And there's this certain country lane hill that I, that I bomb with Toby, and, and every time I go down it, I'm like, I should really be wearing a helmet. And, but then I just forget when I've stopped riding my bike to buy a helmet. That's and, it, and then out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, and then. But I picture like, have you ever seen Freddy Got Fingered? 
<laughs> yeah. You know me, when me and you have watched that together on a, a good three or four times, I think. Well, you know when um, he draws the little uh, zebra people, and he gets oh, the, the teeth, the teeth, oh, teeth shit, grind no. along the concrete. So I have things like that. Like, I think, like, imagine if my front wheel just stopped working. I went over and just grinded my face and all of this concrete. Like while doing like 40 miles an hour down a hill, you can't get them thoughts out of your head sometimes. But then I just have to just. It, I, I, just think, I just think it's a society that we live in at the moment. We get so scared among by everything. But I, I know the first thing, like, if you was to come off your bike going, like, not that sort of speed, because that, well, yeah, fuck you up quite badly. Yeah. But uh, there'd be, if you was to come off your bike at any sort of point or you was riding along, your handlebars came off and you fucked yourself, you'd be like, no camera. Three, Shit, <laughs> yeah. no camera. What a waste. Yeah, man. It is like that as well. Oh, you're getting your little burial pit. I am getting in the little burial pit. It's not... It's not going well. But yeah, I should, I should wear a helmet. But he, Toby, he's always like, nah, don't wear a helmet. Right, nah, don't worry, don't worry, so, pussy. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just like, mate, that's not what you should it's be health, saying. It's health and safety, son. <laughs> that's not what you should be saying. Yeah, so maybe I'll learn the hard way. Bloody hell. No, I do need to get one. I've absolutely biffed this guy, but he's fine. He's, he's happy. That's where he wants to live now. I'm sure you can. Alright, I'm well, sorry, I'm boring you. Am I? Fucking hell. But so, what's the next sort of, um, I was, oh, this is what I wanted to ask actually. What is the worst thing so far that you've done for, um, low card? Because I, I clicked I've on done. your channel the other day and I saw something about foot shavings and I was like, I, I can't watch that. So, I'm so squeamish when it comes to stuff like that. You saw something about foot shavings? Yeah, or foot skin or something like that. Was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, like eating someone's foot skin? Did I see that? Or do I imagine that? Was that a nightmare? I don't... Maybe you did see, I don't know. Maybe you did see it. Maybe, oh, maybe you saw it and I missed it. I, I can't recall that. But then again, the chant... The, the, like, is this on Insta? No, I thought it was on uh, one of the channels. I can't remember. I might have I might have misread something. It happens quite a bit. It might not even say that at all. Um... Yeah, well, I mean, it, it could they could have uh, said something like that, but some, like, it's always someone different writing something, you know? Yeah. Like, maybe I've missed it. I just had a weekend away, so I've got to catch up. Um, but worst thing I've done for a... Worst thing I've done for a low card. Yeah, or like... I imagine the eyebrows... Jesus, what? Yeah, um, I imagine the eyebrows good. thing weren't good. Um, I remember that was always a rule that me and you had. Me and you had whenever we used to say round and we used to be like we were going to film oh, shit and stuff like that. We used to be like, don't touch the fucking eyebrows. Do not touch the <laughs> eyebrows. It was like a, it was a thing yeah, that we yeah, said yeah. and then it got left. Yeah, the, the eyebrows. That was the first time I ever lost my eyebrows. But then again, I've taken two eyebrows in my life, so I've taken Toby's eyebrow once on two occasions. So that was karma in a way. I lost both eyebrows and I deserved that. But, um, <laughs> I deserve that. That wasn't the worst. It sucked having no eyebrows for two months and having to like... Did it, you draw them on? Yeah, I drew them on sometimes. <laughs> it was fun though. It was funny though. Like, I'd, I'd use like multicoloured nail varnish and have a laugh of it and that. Did go out on nights out. And, um, but then I, I wore my glasses sometimes. I pulled a hat down. Yeah, it, it was long. It's not the worst thing to... No. Um, worst... I like my tattoo I got from it, so it was my only tattoo as well. Um, I got a, a, a shellcock tattooed on my ass. A what? A shellcock. A shellcock? Yeah, it's a cock in a shell. Oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah. You show me that off camera. Yeah, I'm going to look at his ass. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the worst one, man. Mine were... the, the worst ones I don't think I've got. Like, because I kept on thinking I don't want that. I'm gonna lose my go again. Um, let's tr let's try and do a trick grenade. Uh, the grenades are on default anyway. Select so. Well, I'll try that and I'll try. It. Got the wind with. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, you got him a little. One bit. would do. Yeah, one would do. Right, one and done. On the head. Um. So what? I got to think back now. What happened? Um. Lost my eyebrows, all in a four day block. I lost my eyebrows. I did a handstand in dog shit while getting electrocuted by an electric dog collar. And then I got my arse cheeks pierced together in like a Steve-O tribute round. And a tattoo, my first ever tattoo uh, on my arse, which was I had to throw a dart at a dartboard and get the tattoo. That's actually, that situation probably the worst because I, did, well, I didn't want some like crap tattoo on my arse. And I'm quite happy that it landed on the shell cop because I think I'm the only person in the world that has it. 
and it has a story and it's a tattoo that's actually like done quite well who so you went you went to a tattoo artist and went i want this it means a lot it's to a me <laughs> <laughs> yeah no he knew he'd been with the boys before so oh, he, fair he, enough he knew what the uh, the coup was but yeah, it's, I think he was probably looking forward to it. I bet he was well happy you got to do his tattoo one because he created it. Oh, did he? Yeah, he at first the first time for the first lazy low carb round that I wasn't a part of, Silent got the uh, the shell cock, um, and then it got put back on the dartboard as like a just you know let's Recite, have that yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I landed a straight on it. So it was um, before it was tattoo's, tattoo's choice, and the tattooist had to just surprise him with a tattoo and it ended up being a shell cock. So you got to do it. Yeah. Or have you both? Oh, no. Die! That'd be it. Peak. <laughs> That's all right. It happens a lot. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Like, there's, there's, there's so much that shit can do. Like that mixer. It's got a lot of buttons. It has got a lot of buttons. Um, I didn't really know what I was buying when I was buying it. I just there, there was a few channels that I follow that, and I saw like a background bit of foot uh, background picture of it, and I zoomed in and was like, "That's the mixer. If they're using it, it'll work." I know that. Like. It's still, it's still a lot of guesswork, Sam. It's yeah, well, that's how you learn. You you need to um, work out yourself and, and make yeah, as many mistakes it. to learn. Oh, that's it. Like that. All right, all right. So, when are you next filming? What have you got planned? So, at the moment, I am... Uh, I'm, I'm editing videos still from Australia, which I went I'm, to like three years ago. I saw that on your Instagram story. It was like, all I've done is fuck it. It was like, all I've done in lockdown is just listen to my own fucking voice. Yeah, yeah. Editing's hard work. Ed, like any anyone that does it or anyone puts himself through it, when you're sitting there and you're like, go back over that, go back over that, or the same bit of music over and over again. Oh, and, yeah, you can get sick of what, so many what, songs. Watching, watching yourself back in... Um, Post edit, pre edit, post edit. Oh, yeah, man. it's horrible. It's really horrible. Like the, like, I say I've got two of these in the bank now, and I'm gonna edit them both. I'm gonna sit here and watch them back, and I'll be like, oh. Well, I, I mean, I'm very used to that now. Like the whole kind of stage of your own voice or face on cameras. Has, yeah. That left me years ago. Surprise. Um, it's surprising how many people like at, at work will go so good on camera. It's like it's, oh, you're nice. so confident on camera. It's like. I don't see it as that anymore. No, like, you, you are really good on camera. But you, I remember you, you used to be good on camera. You were funny in the way, the way you talk. You've got, you've got a funny voice in the nicest way possible. Look, um, there's people that are still right on that video of you getting your head split open saying the, voice, the guy's voice is hilarious. So drunk. So drunk and can, probably drunk and cast, you know. I'm bit. not a fucking chameleon. Is that what I'm I said? I'm not cold-blooded, yeah, because I'm like... Uh, no, no, Lloyd's... Lloyd's putting the paper on your head <laughs> and he's like it's so warm and it makes you laugh and say you're not a chameleon fair enough i'll, I'll need to, i will need to go back and watch that but then we've got to do something together soon yes well i had i had an idea oh shit i thought it was gonna blow up um yeah i had an idea with, with that video of lloyd Stupid. getting his head uh, getting his head knocked out <laughs> getting knocked out on the bike um I wanted to do something with you as well, like, uh, again, the next Reminisce and Take the Piss, I called it. And I said it was a new series and then never done another one. <laughs> um, oh, I do that. There's there's unfinished series on my channel. I'm yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that eventually. Well, you try that's things, didn't you? Yeah, and, that's and it. It was trying to think of the right person in the right clip. And, um, yeah, definitely with you, there's so many clips that... I imagine from when we're well young as well. Yeah. Like, it, one well, thing that always, always, like, sort of comes back to my head is when we was doing... We shook up a bottle. We shook up a bottle of drink. And we got some bloke to open it. Oh, on the top road. And then he threw it at me. Pot. And I went fucking mad. And then he was... Oh, yeah. But then, like, later on in life... Oh, I, yeah. I saw... I, I saw all about that. I saw his point. Because he, he was like, look. He's like, I did, he's like, look, I didn't know what was in it. He's like, I don't know who you are. Yeah, because it'd been like that, acid or yeah, something. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. And I was like... <laughs> we don't think about that no, when you're a you kid, don't. do you? I just thought it was a funny thing to do. But there was loads of jumping bushes. And, uh, do you remember when we went... <laughs> Then this is gonna be. That's what I might have to call this episode. Like, remember when? Because it's all it's been. But um, when we went to the uh, boot fair and bought that little bike. Oh yeah, for sure. That was so much fun. Yeah, I can remember all that footage. It was great. Crashed it into a bush, and then we realised that someone was in the office. Like, go get it. I was like, no, I'm scared. <laughs> oh yeah. Because that's one. Of the, I'll tell you what. That's always been one of them things. Oh nice. Did I get him? Oh, I think it hit the scenery. Um, oh, right. <laughs> always been one of them things of like confrontation of that sort of thing, like. Confrontation with 
what I would consider then and what I consider now as to be like adults, like people that look like fucking blokes or look like fully grown women. Because at the moment, I still feel nice. like I'm 19. Like, yeah, yeah. Like even to even to that day, like any I suppose I should say a 30 figure really, shouldn't I? Anyone that like looks like they know what they're doing in life. I'm like, yeah, and even back then, like, I saw someone in the window. I was like, they have a fucking office job. They know what they're doing. They're going to tell me off a ride like that. And we just left it there. Yeah. But it was so good. It's like yeah, five pounds for, like, a full day's worth of filming, which was great fun. Well, that's how, I mean, this is before phones and everything. And that's how you got your entertainment. Oh, my God. I need to stop <laughs> pressing that button. <laughs> Keep on thinking it's jump. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we, um... You just made your own fun and it was as simple as let's go to a boot fair oh look there's a tiny little kids bike let's just take this high eight camcorder that my grand gave me and go just film us riding into bushes and that because we used to like it was it was sort of it was our comedy what we found yes, funny but also a really easy source of entertainment and we'd, we'd watch things like cky and stuff like that and it was just it was just our humor at the time absolutely absolutely um but it still is now do you know, I, I'm R R A R A P to Ryan Dunn, but I, I think I generally stop. I think I stopped watching it around that time, where I was just like, do you know what? I was like, it's never going to be the same dynamic and everything like that. That fucking yeah. that sucked because we all know this. Everyone that knows me, anyone that's ever met me before and knew me from back then, I wanted to be Van Margera so fucking yeah, much, yeah. so much. He was the shit, and he still is the shit. And I just. Uh, it was that point I was like it's, it's never like it would never be the same again and I thought do you know what I'm, I'll put it to bed there and then but I fucking, that, that was us though wasn't it that's all we did and I I just remember being in school and people talking about it like how the fuck have you seen that like how do you know about that and Stephen Young wasn't it Stephen Young used Stephen to crap Young. on do a dumbass do a dumbass yeah I've got some old clips of him I went to, I end up going to I got really close to him at one point in life. Uh, he was in my IT class at college, and I tell you what, he was—he's just a nice dude, just a nice dude. Yeah, no, he, he was cool. He I got—I got nice memories of him. Like, this is a wasted bullet. I don't want to let you let you out, so I'm just going to fire it into the wall. <laughs> Sometimes you have to. Sometimes yeah. well, you have you to. Can you get out? No, probably not. Okay. Um, Sorry, yeah, what was, what was that topic? We were talking about Stephen Young. Stephen Young. Uh, <laughs> no one's going to know who Stephen Young is. Steve, if you ever watch this, mate. Legend. <laughs> yeah, I've got some old clips of you, if you ever want to see him. Um, him in a, in a wheelbarrow, getting pulled, like, pushed around Raynham at night, and then Ben Weller goes in from the trolley and cracks his ribs. Ben Weller, I remember yeah, Ben man. Weller. Um, yeah, uh, well, well, Ryan Dunn... Yeah, such a legend. Um, but that was quite recent. When you think about what, the, what Jackass have made, that was after 3D. Hello. Was it? Yeah, because he was in Jackass 3D, and then I it was don't... shortly afterwards that he uh, crashed, unfortunately crashed died. Motor, yeah. yeah. Um, and they're making obviously Jackass 4 now, <sighs> and so it's going to be the first thing. I guess if you don't count Steve O's uh, little gig he done a skit with with everyone be the first thing about Ryan Dunn. Why can't I do? Why can't I worm? Why, why can't I worm? Can't How I do worm, worm do? Alright, let's use a <clears> banana <throat> bomb. Why not? But uh, that's another thing I remember um, as well, and it was one of your prized possessions. As I say, everyone, I'm calling this what we remember because it's been such a long time and we've had so much to catch up on. Oh, do. shit! Um, it was when you met Steve-O in London at the uh, Piccadilly, wasn't it? Piccadilly Station? And you, it was, it was not long after you put an eye into your ass. Yeah, so I met I met Steve O. Um, one, two, three, four times. Have you? Each time's been a bit different, and um, the first time was when he. This was back like just after probably Jackass, the first movie. He come to London. He was all stoned up and that, and he was at a game convention. And yeah, I'd recently stuck an iron on each one of my arse cheeks, or Bake had recently stuck an iron on each one of my arse cheeks. So I had these perfect triangular burns on each one of my asses with the fuck with the fucking steam holes as well. Um, and so I'd, yeah, I showed him my ass. He was just like really stoked on it. He wrote me this letter to say that um, there's, he there's was jealous. That's one thing that I like. There's one. There's like this bit of footage that you took, and I think it's so 
so nice is the fact that you've you've got him writing that letter. Oh yeah, I, I think that was fucking rad. I remember that to this day, and I was like, that's so cool. Yeah, it was it was really really cool. It was, it was all about the fans, um, and yeah, he just he wrote me that cool letter saying he was jealous of my ass burns. My mum saw it. She found out about my ass. She wanted to Do call something. the police on Steve-O. <laughs> she did. She was said she was like, I can't believe he's like, you know, like. Encouraging. Yeah, encu yeah, yeah, saying all this stuff. And oh, fuck! <laughs> Stop me pressing that button, man. No. No. It's the only way I'm going to win. I'm still winning. I know. I know. It's it's not good. Um, Yeah, and, and uh, eventually, like, she got over that. And then, yeah, and I, I sent him. I didn't even have a good computer at editing software at the time. He was asking to see the footage. And I think now, if I'd had a better way of sending the footage, I think I sent him screenshots on, like, his easy message board at the time. Uh, but he yeah i could never send him the clips and then the next time i saw him was at the <laughs> london film premiere of jackass 2 and i'd mentioned to him i'm the guy that stuck the iron ass and he was like, oh yeah yeah i was like i thought you were gonna i thought you were gonna send me the footage and it, i was like oh, i can't man i didn't just don't have a good computer at the time i've got no fucking money on nothing Watch it. and then the third time i met him he was sober and i was fucked and I went to his stand-up gig in London and oh. I snuck a camera in to try and film and get shot. So I wasn't ever going to leak the gig or anything like that. Like, I just love filming shit and wanted to film. And he didn't want any cameras. He wanted to take a picture of everyone um, one by one with his camera. And so that was going on and I'm pissed and I'm trying to film. And he's like, no, 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 put that away. And then I don't listen and I'm just being a twat and filming. And eventually he was like, what did I fucking tell you? And he snatches my camera. This is on camera as well like this rolling when he grabs it and he gives it to a bouncer so i'm just like i've got to get my camera so i jump on stage and then chase the bouncer into the back corner <laughs> and then get my camera back and he's like you can't be filming in there and i'm like you can't grab my property all just drunk being a twat and um yeah then he kind of let me out the side and i, I had to leave um <laughs> so i was i was like i've done a video before about it telling it it's not on up anymore because of copyright reasons um oh what because his his footage is in there sort of thing there was two clips i of my footage in it of just like no audio him standing on stage with a mic yeah and then i think of him doing a like a this flip on a table with, with some fire and because of that and i had two strikes on my youtube channel and a third strike i don't know if you know but your channel just can get yeah it's gone so I took it up like... Uh, if you, if you, sorry, I should... Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah. I basically thought I don't want to risk it losing my channel, so I took down every video that I thought could have copyrighted footage in it. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's um, a shame. That's a shame. I mean, I, I get um, I, I get copyright strikes for fucking sometimes music in games. Yeah, like, I've got, a, I've got a pain a, in the arse. It really is. Like, um, I was... Um, a subscriber to endemic sound because it's copyright free music yeah i got that and um as soon as i my subscription ran out it was boom copyright strike copyright strike like a copyright um not a strike but a warning sort of thing so it does, doesn't let you monetize the video no no so they, they'll get all the money from that if it ever gets monetized now so you know when you're like fucking cheers lads thanks for that but um yeah. I, it's it, i should just listen from the jump of um what everyone's told me it was like just use your music <laughs> just choose just use youtube music library or make your own music it's all good don't worry about it yeah i mean yeah mate, if you can make your own music then that's the best the best way luckily i've got um a good friend jamie who who loves making music and has made a lot of fat tv music um yeah so I, i'm lucky on that front where did the whole yeah thing come from because it's kind of like your catchphrase Sake. I've been kind of trying to figure this one out because <laughs> I don't know where it come from. Like, me, I, I asked Jamie recently. I was like, "Where did Yeah come from?" Where well, he just started talking weird, and he thought it come from Bake, so it could have come from Bake just doing weird things and saying "Yeah," and uh, is it art and uh, is just it? doing weird noises all the time. Do you know what I said that for? Fucking years, what, mate. Is it hot? Is it hot? Is it hot? Is it, it is fucking it? It will be. be. Yeah. Just that. I just. Oh, where did that come from? He I, just randomly said I it. I tell you what. He is one of the most what, this? unique characters I've ever met, Bake. He he fucking cracks me up. Yeah, man. He's he's a funny guy. It wasn't so long ago. I say so long ago. Like you know, but it must have been last year um, that I, I went up to Random Cricks. As a do, all oh, right. Walked in, Good luck. boom. Um, Bake was in there, Webb was in there, and um, Paz was in there, and I was like, oh fucking hell! 
Paz looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. Do you reckon? Yeah! What, what, wait, what did he look like when you saw him? Because his uh, image has changed uh, loads. Leather jacket. Leather jacket. Blonde, slick backy kind of hair. So he looked like Jax from Sons of Anarchy. A little bit, yeah. yeah I, think, I, think, I think that's what he was going for. <laughs> oh yeah, I never really put them two together. I just, I was just so in awe of seeing them all. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, we do get together every now and then. It's not so often. But it's life, isn't it? Yeah, it is, exactly. It. But when we do, it's really cool to catch up and that. Really cool. Some silly stuff still does happen. I've, I've, I've been filming little bits and that over the years. Um, I guess maybe for something bigger down the line. Uh, the whole putting clips out, especially Fat TV stuff, it, it happens so rarely now that it just seems weird putting a random clip out every now and then. Um, I, I was going to ask, like, because of, like, and, oh, I don't know, you, you get worried about saying things on YouTube in case they listen and want to take stuff down, but because it's so fucking sensitive. What, COVID? No, uh, no, nothing to do with that. God's <laughs> sake, don't say that. Christ, that's it. We're gone. We're, we're getting taken down. Um, but, like, where it is so sensitive towards absolutely everything, like, I've always wondered, like, and I, I hate saying this as well, but stunt channels and prank channels and stuff like that. Shit. That was that a poke? Yep. Nice. Um, how does that, like... How don't they get taken down? Or do you have to have like a massive disclaimer? No, they do. I've had so many videos taken down. Um, every now and then, just like it's been up for years and it was just something that just get taken down or demonetized or banned. It was just, just the way it's happening. So the content that I really want to make doesn't really fit onto YouTube anymore. I mean, a lot of the stuff we filmed over the last like 20 years has never been on YouTube because it just wouldn't be allowed. So I need to, I've been thinking about making some sort of film some sort of doc Leave film of everything that like fat tv or and just everything well, like, like the evolution from yeah that kind of where it kind of started the all the greatest stuff loads of unseen stuff loads of like yes, 18 plus stuff and somehow releasing it online where people or maybe even do a dvd but also so it's not just all old stuff because i feel like i post so much old stuff it's all throwback i want to kind of break it up with all new bits yeah and try and get people back together and yeah that is on my mind and i do have a bit of footage to go towards that already um such a funny prank on toby when he was asleep uh involving mr potato head and super glue what uh wow <laughs> sounds <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work out how that what could go down but i don't i don't think i think i have to wait but can you like i, I said this i said this to um i said this to um <clears throat> louise pemble in the first episode um, i'll have to really blank or i've got to remember to blank out a second name louise lydia sorry um but like God, spotify is getting into stuff like this you know they've been doing podcasts for a while and they're slowly getting like slowly moving into video and i think that there are going to be something like youtube used to be i think that they're going to get involved in like live streaming streaming but you know like how youtube does um and i, th I think that's that, yeah i know that like because this these are going to be released on spotify as well so i've got to do an oh, cool. for that yeah uh, just to you know spread the name out and stuff but i think like an, i don't know i can just I, I just see a pattern you know i think that um i think spotify are going to be the next big video and live streaming platform for some reason Let's go. And I'm, I'm, really yeah i really really do so no one take my idea and your spotify if you're listening you owe me some cheddar but it's i i, I can i can see it happening because why would they have, like because i i'm a massive i'm a massive joe rogan lover I, I i you know from watching fight and everything like that his comedy is not it's american comedy and i don't really just is it my go again? Yeah, but how did I just skip my go? I don't know. That what was you well did. quick. Oh, I'll, I'll skip mine. Here you go. No, no, no it's, that's that's cool, man. Ah. Oh shit, no! <laughs> what yeah. a prick! You can skip your go again. Yeah, um, well, that's it. You won. Oh, is that it again? Yeah. So uh, right. that's what that's what I generally think is going to happen. I think YouTube are building. Um, I think Spotify are building up to um, to get that sort sorted. Yeah, that'll be that'll be new and good. I wonder. If I mean that, yeah. Why wouldn't they? Is that an investing opportunity, though? Why wouldn't they? Buy some. I, I mean, Spotify they spend shitloads of money on Joe Rogan. Yeah. Um. Why wouldn't they all of a sudden then go? Okay, so we're going to do that. That's going to bring over there. You, 
YouTube's the only platform these days where you can do that. Other like Twitch is for Twitch for gaming and stuff like that. But that's like they don't have any servers where you can preserve your video. That's the one thing I love about YouTube. People have told me, why don't you start streaming on why don't you start streaming on Twitch? Why don't you do Twitch content? It's like, yeah, I could do that and I could restream. One, I can't because my fucking internet's shite and I can barely just do normal streams. But it's like I like having some sort of digital footprint of like what I have done like in, in, like I'll always log on to it no matter what because I've always said this like if I ever get bored of doing video like gaming stuff I've got all this to do this you yeah, know sure. um but I want I just want something to be there like you know in, like my niece when she grows up and goes oh, that's my uncle being a fucking idiot do you know what I mean yeah. it's whether on Twitch you can't do that but I think that is what Spotify is going to end up being I think it's going to be the new YouTube and hopefully it's as hopefully it stays relatively I'm not saying uncensored where you can you know get videos of people getting their fucking heads chopped off because no one needs to see that but kind of like how it was five or six years ago where you could get away with a little bit more without saying the c-bomb without getting yeah like because that i've said it once i had to bleep it out of the video but i was so worried that the youtube algorithm would know that i had left it in and just bleeped it over and they were going to come down knock on my door put the dick through the letterbox and be like no you can't say that word on there because it's so <laughs> it's so worrying like I don't understand why, but that's why they fucking had kids YouTube. That's, you know? that's exactly what I was just going to say. There's this kids YouTube now, but still, if you swear or something in a video, you get limited advertising. You get that orange. I mean, like, even though I've been on YouTube for so many years, I've never actually bothered to learn how to do well on it. What, like, the algorithm? The, the, the algorithm and stuff. No, it is. I try and. With the videos that that I, I make personally, I try and not concentrate too much on how well they're going to do because i feel like it sucks the fun out of it that that's that's exactly that's exactly where i've lived with it now like i said this before in the last video so i might just speed this a little bit up but the reason why i started memory card for was because i wanted to get into the games industry like i wanted to become a like a, a game journalist but do more video content so that's why i started it um but then you've got to try and, and, and get noticed by that and by learn the algorithm. But it's yeah. just, it's fucking complicated shit. Like all the interactions that you get, it all goes on watch time. And I was watching numbers and I was watching numbers go up like that video didn't do too well. Right. That stream's not done well. Um, and I was like, oh, such and such company aren't going to like this. Sponsors aren't going to like this. And I was focused on it. And my, my love for it really hit the ground at one point. And I was yeah. like, do you know what? I can't be fucking bothered to do any of this shit anymore. Yeah, yeah. And then... I just sort of was like, do you know what? I'm just going to do it for the fun of doing it. And my love for it came back instantly where like, I'm going to say this and he'll, he'll never, hopefully he'll never watch it. But um, we all got like, we got involved in this community on Discord where like there was a few content creators who all watch each other's videos. And one person that was doing it less time than me started like bumping, like getting, getting higher and higher. And I sort of involved myself in this fucking competition with this dude that didn't know he was in a competition. And I was just like, fuck you. How dare you get that many likes on your video? How dare you get that many views? Yeah, oh, I'm better. Yeah. I'm this, that and the other. And then like everyone started falling out because I think everyone was in that same race and not realised that I was in it. Yeah, and unhealthy. then I sort of like took myself out of it. I was like, I'm not going to look at their numbers anymore. I'll go in and I'll watch a stream show support, but then I'm going to fucking do one. They can do the same for me. Um, and then after that, I was like, I'm, I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. All I'm going to focus on is the people that I like watching, the people that I will support. Like I used to do shout outs all the fucking time. And Danny, Danny saved my life with this because she's like, you people will come in to watch you and there'll be another streamer in there and she's like immediately you're like you go check them out go check so and so out because they're the shit and she's like imagine it like a shop and right. you make cakes and um she's like you, someone comes in to make cake like buy a cake off you but you go yeah these are nice but next door fucking even better yes. and i was like and i never thought i never thought of it like that before and i was like fuck you're a genius yeah, so i was yeah. like there's a couple of people on there that have started streaming or like getting into streaming and stuff like that and they've been they've been with memory card full since the day dot found us like come back and spend time with us so when they like start getting the schedule together and anything like that, i will help them out because they've done that to me yeah cool. but like people come in like you know fancy giving us a shout out like, fuck you like no i'm not doing it anymore Why? Yeah. like it's I'm a bit it's a bit shit when people just you know come up and just you know that's the first thing they that's what they're thinking of you know oh, yeah. they're, they're probably thinking like how can i get something out of you Oh, we, we, us a shout there's, there's, some, there's someone as well that we're not quite sure if he's a troll or not. Oh, really? But they, they come back a lot. They come back a lot. And they, they like the show support, like they say this, but like 
then another person will come in and they type exactly the same and you're sitting there you're like hmm right and then like like this game's rubbish or something like that and then like they'll send me they'll message you like they'll be really irritating do they ask for like shout outs all this sort of stuff and, and whatnot so like but any weird stuff like pictures of your poo or noises of your I mean parts. I mean they've only got to go to my own fans for that so <laughs> that's all there can imagine you with an only fan. Fuck that. I make too many jokes about it. I call it only mans. Only mans. Only yeah. mans. Yeah, yeah. It's just me with my cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've said that for ages though. I think I, th I think that's going to be another thing as well. Pe pay subscription because everyone for some reason Definitely. everyone loves pets. Like, it's going to be yeah, I pay for my pet pics, man. Pet pics. Look at it. <laughs> Licking its foot. No, I, I, <laughs> I believe in the uh, the. Uh, you know like the patreon and 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 kickstart if you've got something that you want to do and you physically can't and you have got a fan base that may be willing to help i don't think there's any shame in uh, and starting a kickstarter or something like that no, no I, I i agree with you on that i agree with you on that it but it's it's one of these things of what's going to happen when you do start building a fan base because i've got i've got such a plan for a couple like i'm sure like you do with uh, fat sam and fat tv and it you, you know it's kind of like a pipe dream but it's one of them things of like as soon as people start like get to that point where you can donate and like gonna start donating if they do donate I'm gonna be like I, I don't want your fucking money and like, I'd feel like a need to like yeah. prove it like I've not like gone out on the not gone out on the piss or bought a prostitute like I'll be like this is what I'm buying with it you know oh I see yeah yeah, yeah. I feel guilty like but yeah, if, I, if, if I took some money out of the funds and bought myself like a roll I'll be like <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest taking people's money and going fucking prozzies with it. But uh, <laughs> if you use the money, like if you're strict and and I don't know if, if you can be, even be transparent with the fans, that's great as well. But if you did it in a way where all the money goes towards videos, so yeah, like better equipment money, and stuff like that. And yeah, exactly. Like I, I mean, I couldn't really do that now because my channel. I don't think I've released a video in about a year. I've been editing, but trying to get a lot of videos kind of built up. So I, when I start releasing again, it's not just, you know, bit there, bit there. I want to do like a one a week sort of thing. Um, but right now, if I started asking for money, people would be like, for fucking what? You don't do anything. Yeah, it's... So it may be like, if I get, if I get things going a bit, get a little roll and, and people see we make, like I'm making videos again, then... Um, Maybe I'll introduce like you know, there's a Patreon thing, and you know, you could you can yeah. watch this video two weeks before without any adverts if you pay one pound a month or something. Something like, like that. Like, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's it's that as well. It's good and motivation as well. I know it shouldn't be, but if you've got somebody that's like willing to donate or paying, you're like, I can't let that person down. No, it it, it goes the same with like um. I say there's there's people that come in with the live streams and everything like that. that's why i dropped pre-recorded let's plays because i won't really get anything of that i was talking to myself and if i'm gonna be talking i'd rather talk to somebody else so that's why even in even in the chat screen and stuff like that but it's 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 simple things like that as a support even though like there's no money and i don't want anything for it because i've got a job i pay for it myself you know until you know you start getting youtube money and shit like that eventually if that ever happens but it's like people invest their people invest their time in you like there'll be times at work and i hate admitting this there's times at work where like eight hours into a 12 hour shift and i'm sitting, sitting there think, thinking fuck i've got to go on the live stream tonight i've got to go on the live stream so i'll come in and get showered love something to eat have a coffee make another coffee have another coffee yeah. and then i'll get down and i'll sit here and i try to say not trying to focus on numbers and then someone popping in the chat and I'm like, oh, I know they are banging stuff like that. And as soon as you start, as soon as that one person says, "Hi, how are you doing?" and stuff like that, you're like, "This is it. This is this is why I exactly fucking do it. This yeah. is exactly why I do it." Like, I I, I I imagine it's the same with you with comments. Like, if anyone comments your video, you think I, I I always I'm in two minds about like getting back to him, and I shouldn't be because I should just get back to him straight away. But I'm always like, why 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 are you commenting? I'm not like a big YouTuber or anything like that. But then immediately I'm like. It's so nice of them to type out a message that ain't you're a fucking wanker. Yeah, for right? sure. <laughs> I've had my fair, fair few of them as well. They, uh, I, I tend to reply to most comments. Um, I guess the one video that I don't re reply all the time to is the one of me ba breaking my back. Because I assume you've answered everything there is to answer about that video. Yeah, and some comments aren't even questions. They were just, you know, every like couple of days, like there'll be maybe like a few comments and it, it'd just be like slating me or something, you know, like some really harsh shit which uh, should have landed on your fucking head man yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Which, which is fine like i find it funny that somebody can get like so angry over so i write so something so stupid I've, I've i've been trying to work out a sort of thing about that of 
why, like, because I've had discussions about trolls, and we don't really get major trolls. We get a few that come in, they'll just spam the chat with, like, emojis, like the fucking, the, the so-called fruit that's a dick emoji and shit like that. You know, the blamange, not the blamange, don't know what blamange is, but the, uh, the purple one that looks like a dick. We'll get that a lot. And the aubergine. The aubergine, that's the, that's the chat. Eggplant. Eggplant for, you know, the colonial that's cousins. America. Uh, uh, eggplants. Eggplants are America. So we'll get that and stuff like that. But I, I generally think that I don't. I, I used to give a lot of shit in Halo, like Halo chat rooms. Are you like? Because I used to fucking love it. But I used to get it back as well, and it used to be so much fun. But I, I, I can't get into the point in my head, and it's never gone through there. Someone's put so much effort into this video. I'm gonna call his sister a slag. Like I. I, I just can't word it, but then I've been thinking about it and like been talking to other people and I really think it's people that do it are jealous of what you're doing and like they wish that they had the confidence or anything to do that. So like it doesn't matter if you're making fucking pastry on YouTube, you your pastry shit, it will kill a dog if it ate you fuck. Like that. It like you're like are you just jealous because you can't you can't eat pastry or like you lactose intolerant motherfucker? You scared of milk? <laughs> you jealous of my pastry. You're jealous of my pastry. You jealous of my pastry. Now, I, uh, I, I get that, yeah, and that, I reckon that's definitely the case for some people, but I, I do feel like there's some people out there that literally don't put any thought into their comments or anything. They just think, oh, this would be funny. Da -da -da -da. Next video. Like, it, it can be as little as that, and they've just, like, you know, called your mum a badger or something. What the fuck I called my mum a badger? Mm. Fighting in the street with hammers. I ain't scared. <laughs> Right, Sam, it has been that long. I think we should call it there. So, everybody, I want to say thank you very, very much for watching. It's been lovely. Where may they find you on all the social medias? Or even you can go to his house and just put dick through a letterbox. He no, likes it. No, I don't. I live with Wade. That would be Wade's house. He'll get sick of the Oh, dicks. is it Wade? You I thought you lived with Webb. No, I live with Wade. Oh, you live with Wade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is Wade? Yeah, just, he's good, just mate. Just kind of I, I rarely saw him, mate. Yeah, I, I rarely see him now because he's, uh, he's all loved up. And is that, he? So, yeah. Oh, well then. Lovely stuff. But where sure. may they find you if they so want to? Um, yeah, if you want to, you can find me on probably Instagram is the the thing I'm on um, more these days, which is Fat Sam underscore TLG. <laughs> also making videos with the late generation quite often. The webisode two is in the works, which you can find on YouTube or Instagram. The late generation. Um, UK, I believe, at the end of the Instagram handle, but not on YouTube, I believe. Maybe try that. Someone already took it. That's it, isn't it? Maybe, yeah. Um, oh, and Fat Sam is FH, not PH or not F, because I was young and thought of a word. That and it's unique. Uh, yeah, it's I know, unique. but it's so hard to remember. <laughs> like, it's, it's crap for like marketing or, or like you know, if so, for someone to remember that, if you tell them and they go search it, they will instantly just put PH. It's not like you would. Yeah. You? I made up a word when I was like 15 or something. And that's that. Yeah. All right, everyone, you know who we are. We are Memory Car 4. We have uh, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and, of course, um, the YouTube channel where you're at now. They're all in the description below, as well as um, Sam's links for that. Leave a like if you like this video. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And the bell icon for all notifications anytime we upload a video or go live a stream. That is that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, that was good. Like, you can remember. How many times have you done that? Yes, mate.